The moon has been known since prehistoric times. It's the second brightest object in the sky after the sun. As the moon orbits around the Earth once per month, the angle between the Earth, the moon and the sun changes. We see this as the cycle of the moon's phases. The time between the successive new moons is 29.5 days, slightly different from the moon's orbital period, since the Earth moves a significant distance in its orbit around the sun in that time. Due to its size and composition, the moon is sometimes classified as a terrestrial planet, along with Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. The moon was first visited by the Soviet spacecraft Luna 2 in 1959. It's the only extraterrestrial body to have been visited by humans. The first landing was on July 20th, 1969. The last was in December 1972. The moon is also the only body from which samples have been returned to Earth. In the summer of 1994, the moon was very expensively mapped by the little spacecraft Clementine, and again in 1999 by Lunar Prospector. The gravitational forces between the Earth and the moon causes some interesting effects. The most obvious is the tides. The moon's gravitational attraction is stronger on the side of the Earth nearest to the moon and weaker on the opposite side. Since the Earth, and particularly the oceans, is not perfectly rigid, it's stretched out along the line towards the moon. From our perspective on the Earth's surface, we see two small bulges, one in the direction of the moon and one directly opposite. The effect is much stronger in the ocean water than in the solid crust, so the water bulges are higher, and because the Earth rotates much faster than the moon moves in its orbit, the bulges move around the Earth about once a day, giving two high tides per day. You may have heard references to the dark side of the moon. This popular term refers to the fact that the same physical half of the moon, the near side, is always facing Earth which in turn means that there is a far side or so-called dark side that is never facing Earth, and can only be seen from space. This phenomenon has nothing to do with the illumination or the periodic light, and dark as we see the phases of the moon change. Sometimes people refer to a new moon as a dark moon, because the moon is fully in shadows as it's viewed from Earth and we can't see it, but that's not the same as the dark side of the moon. The side of the moon facing us during a new moon is the same as any other moon phase, such as a full moon when we see the entire phase. So why can we see only one side of the moon from Earth? We all know that Earth rotates on its own axis, so theoretically the moon should also do the same, allowing us to get a full picture of it. But then why are we only limited to seeing only 50%? It turns out that the speed at which the moon rotates has led to this particular phenomenon. Millions of years ago the moon spun at a much faster pace than it does now, However, the gravitational influence of the Earth has gradually acted upon the Moon. This in turn means that it slowed its rotation down, in the same way that much smaller gravitational influence of the Moon acts upon the Earth to create tides. This influence slowed the rotation period of the Moon to match that of its orbit, about 27.3 days and is now locked into this period. If the Moon didn't spin at all then it would eventually show its far side to the Earth while moving around our planet in orbit. However, since the rotational period is exactly the same as the orbital period, the same portion of the moon's sphere is always facing the Earth. Another interesting fact is that actually a little more than half of the moon can be seen from the Earth's surface. Since the moon's orbit is elliptical and not circular, the speed of its orbital travel increases and decreases depending on how close it is to our planet. The rotational speed of the moon is constant however, and this difference between orbital speed and rotational speed means that when the moon is furthest from the Earth, its orbital speed slows down just enough to allow its rotational speed to overtake it, giving observers a small glimpse of the usually hidden area. The term for this rocky motion of the moon is called libration, and it allows for 59% of the moon to be seen in total. Finally, one reason that the far side of the moon is frequently referred to as the dark side is because many people mistakenly think that it never sees any light from the sun, in that sense, the dark side is wrong and misleading. In fact, the moon is constantly rotating on its own axis. There is no area of the moon which is in permanent darkness, and the far side of the moon is only completely devoid of sunlight during a full moon, when the sun is facing the moon with the Earth in between. It has long been a theory of some ufologists that the far side of the moon could harbor a base for extraterrestrials. Presuming they come from a distant planet in some other solar system, they must have a base from which they can make regular visits to the Earth. What better place than the far side of the moon, which is hidden from sight? To back up these claims, authors at such websites as Alien Presence on the Moon cite the words of Milton William Cooper, allegedly a former intelligence officer within the US Navy. 
In a 1989 press release from Cooper, he swears under oath that he was told information that the US government has knowledge of alien crafts visiting Earth. Luna is the alien base on the far side of the moon. It was seen and filmed by Apollo astronauts. A base, a mining operation using very large machines, and the very large alien craft described in several reports as mother ships exist there. Returning to the moon is no guarantee of closure of course. If the alien bases are not undercovered and revealed to the citizens of Earth, conspiracy theorists can always blame the world's governments, who they say shield us from the truth of alien presence. Like most speculation, rumour and psychic reports, tales of mysterious goings on and alien bases on the far side of the moon have not been proved, and many state these are just outlandish claims. But I'm interested in your theories. Do you think that there is something on the dark side of the moon? Let me know in the comments.
thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.